Oh, hey everyone. It's Shazam. Welcome back to another iCraft video. We're just at the Ender Ender today. Uh, working on getting some XP and refilling my new mending pickaxe, along with the rest of the shiny new armor that I've got going for myself. i using this pickaxe a lot recently to dig out the base. I think it's going pretty well. I also added a little touches to it to get ready for this episode to start building. And I got a few more surprises to show you guys. So let's finish filling up this pickaxe. And then we'll be out of here. Alright, so now that we're back in the overworld, uh, we're actually going to go right into the nether to show you guys what I've been working on when it comes to our little tunnel that we've got in there. Alright, so to not spoil anything, we're going to start out here. So we've got our sign right here that leads in. So when you go in, turn to the right, and boom, here it is. So I've got this little this white pane to act like a little sliding door, I guess. And then I tried to do, I tried to like replicate the way the Death Star looks on the inside. Uh, with the walls here, uh, but I was really limited with the amount of space that I had, especially on this wall, because it's so close to the end. So all I did was just a little design here. So what I did is I, I had like staircases that are facing inwards, like this, and upside down, to make this little alcove kind of look. And then I have glass panes with sea lanterns behind them. It's definitely not the most um, inexpensive thing I've ever done. It's pretty expensive when it comes to everything that you're placing so yeah but I mean it, it looks nice I I like it a lot because it kind of gives off this little this like a tiny little light effect right here as it, it, it's mainly dark on the inside but it gives off a little like rim light I guess and I think it looks great so I'll show you guys the actual base now okay so coming directly out of the nether portal out of the ship you could first see that there are more chests here because I've doing a lot of digging and I have a lot of cobblestone a lot, a lot, a lot. So, <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with all of it because I have so much and I have, I, I might just like, okay, so I'm one of those players that doesn't like to get rid of things. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all of it. I suppose I'm gonna have to make a storage system pretty soon, uh, which we need to do because we need to update this, this area because this area was made for when we were still building the ship, which is long gone. So we need to update this to look like uh, that that stone area that I've got to have it come in here. Might do that today in a time lapse, but I might not get to it at all. So we definitely need to work on that. I might even just do it off camera since you guys have already seen this whole area. It's not going to be anything special, but you know. Uh, I also need to dig out a storage system somewhere in that base now. But we're dilly-dallying. Let me show you what I've actually been working on. Aha, uh -huh. so this is the hangar so far. I've dug out every block to the last wall. And that last wall up there, up top in that corner, if I dig one more block, I reach the other side of the mountain. So I think this is all the room that we're gonna get. And I forgot to light it up in here, so there's lots of people. Lots of, lots of, bad, lots of bad dudes. Uh, but I did make a little guardrail thing right here. I might put, I don't know, trap doors maybe to like a lower pit. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Uh, but as you can see, I put this little, well, how'd she, I didn't, pretty sure they can't jump. How did she, I, I figured when they saw this, they would just, you know, not jump over it, but I guess I was wrong. Um, okay. Well, there's a lot of guys over there, so I'm gonna fly away, probably come back and try and light that up really quickly. Oh, but as you can also see, I've put down a lot of gray stained clay. Which I have a lot of still, and I need to finish up our last batch to fill out the rest of the floor. And then I need to get all these dirt patches out of the way and replace that with stone. And then we can start working on the pillars or even maybe digging out a hallway somewhere to start on a storage system because I really need to make one. Everything down there is a mess. So 
I'll update you guys again when we reach something worth showing. Okay, everybody, welcome back. I have done some building, some work, trying to make this look like a hangar. Now, it's not perfect, but I've made some progress on the side pillars. So this is what I've come up with so far, and I think it looks pretty good. Um, I mean, I think it's the best we can actually get in like Minecraft. So <laughs> I think we're gonna roll with it because the lights are there and, and it fits. It matches like the pictures that I've gotten uh, from the from the Imperial hangers off of like Google and everything. So I think we're gonna roll with this design. Uh, and so what I've come to find out is that there's uh, there's five spaces here, uh, four here, four here, four here, and so on. Uh, and I'm, it's gonna be the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete these off camera, uh, but I also need to find a doorway to open up into what's going to be our storage system. And I think I know exactly where I wanna put it. So over here on this side of the mountain, the hangar's right there. Whoa, hey, whoa, bob and weave, bob and weave, bob and weave. I don't have my sword out, Uh, bye bye. So anyway, right here, this wall, big and flat. I think we should make a big circular window. Mumbles actually came up with this idea, so props to him. Uh, speaking of Mumbles, his base is like over there. His like, he started this when the season started and he hasn't really done anything with it since, but he's been working at the spawn, so it's understandable. So right here, this big flat wall, we're gonna put a circle right here in that area. So it's gonna be a big circular window to a big room that's gonna have uh, it's going to be like a control panel kind of area, like the front of a, a, a Star Destroyer maybe. Uh, and so I think what I want to try and do is back here in this corner, build some kind of like piston door. Maybe in this one, maybe even, maybe right here. Probably this one. So build some kind of piston door that leads into a little hallway that leads into that storage. But in order to do that, I'm going to need a lot more white glass. So I'm going to have to go get some more bone meal and I actually I'm pretty sure I have enough already but I really need to get started on a storage system because this place is getting really messy like it's just a bunch of random chests everywhere there's a bunch of whatever you know there's stuff everywhere books and everything there's so you know everything's just kind of all over the place so getting everything sorted will be really nice to do and I think getting that hanger done all we have to, all we have left are the pillars and then to fill the inside of it and I think we're gonna fill the inside with uh, TIE Fighter, maybe? Maybe two? I have to decide how big I want them to be, but I also want some to be flying around out here. So maybe... Maybe one or two, and then maybe, like, Darth Vader's TIE Fighter? Because I like the way that one looks a lot. They can't... They, they have... They're pretty big. Uh, because we're going off of Minecraft scale here. So they're gonna be, like, right in the middle, like, right here. Uh, and I want them to be really, like, nice and detailed, like our Imperial Shuttle over there. I want them to look pretty similar, uh, so that's going to be pretty neat. And then for this over here, I don't know how I want to connect that in here. I, ooh, I'm kind of deciding between like an indoor tunnel, or maybe even just having like a walkway that goes from here into the hangar. But I also want an actual door that goes into the hangar as opposed to what we have now, where you just kind of jump over it. So maybe. Maybe we could make like a tunnel that goes like a walkway that goes through here and kind of cuts through the mountain and then takes like a, a left and goes up into a staircase that actually goes into the hangar so we can make this all walled off over here really nicely. Uh, so it's all bunched up, you know, just jump over this to get in every time. Obviously you can fly in. I guess it's a cool tie into the Elytra is that you can just kind of fly right into the hangar to get back into the base so it's like swoop woo you know so i think progress on this has been really good and we're gonna keep on working at it and making sure that this thing turns out beautiful all right everyone i have another update for you oh would you come get out get out of here get, get all right everyone so i have another update to show you all let's go ahead and eat some eat some pork chops before we get into this as you can see it's dark outside because I want to show you guys how bright I've made this area look. 
Are you kidding me right now, dude? Get out of here. All right. Here we go. There it is. I have lit up this place so much. Every single pillar's in. Every single light's in. Except for the back wall. Every single thing is here. I put glass, uh, gray glass, over these sea lanterns to light it up down here. And there's no light level 7s anywhere. We're not going to have any mobs spawning in here. It is... I, I wanted to make it look like very like noticeable from from out here when i think it is because it's super bright <laughs> which is how it looks in the movie so i think we've achieved a pretty good look there with how bright it is yeah look at that it looks nice but on the back wall i was thinking about what to do and maybe we could put the imperial logo um, I'll pull one up on screen right now. It, it would just go right there, right on that wall. I think it would look great, actually. And then we could try it. We could even make it out of glass and then put stain and uh, put sea lanterns behind it. So I, I'm very, I'm very much considering that right now. Uh, but that's it for the hangar. This is it, like done for the most part. Now we just have to add the ships inside and the logo on the back wall. And I also have this over here. This is going to be our storage unit problem is it's not very big so I'm not gonna be able to follow what I did before with the big circle window um, in fact I might just give it a more like subtle look from the outside and give it like a modern touch and just make it a big room with a big window and have black flooring with some chests all around uh, you know I think I think that would work pretty well but to get rid of that it's hard to see everything oh I also got myself a uh, this diamond shovel right here because I figured I'd I'd use it a lot so so yeah, this whole hangar is now complete. That's that's like the big project, and it's done now. So now we can get to work on the smaller parts of the space. We'll get to work on the uh, the storage unit next time, and we'll also maybe make an entrance, connect that up, make other survival needs into Star Wars themed rooms all in this base. And you know what? I think it looks pretty neat. See how they can't even get inside? Look at that. I think that's pretty neat. All right. Well, anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this iCraft video, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.